hello everyone welcome back to the circuit digest so in this video we will see how to interface an ultrasonic sensor with a raspberry pi pico we will calculate the distance then we will show this distance on the oled display module so as you can see in the hardware setup we have uh, i have connected the oled display with raspberry pi pico if you don't know how to interface an oled display you can follow the previous videos where I have already show, show you how to interface an OLED display with Raspberry Pi Pico. So in this video, uh, as you can see, I have connected the ultrasonic sensor to the ras Raspberry Pi Pico. The pin description is given in the documentation that uh, the link of the documentation can be found in the description below. So you need to connect your Raspberry Pi Pico with uh, the laptop by USB so I am connecting this now let's see the programming part so in the programming section I am using machine library and if you uh, I have already described how to use these libraries to display a text on, ras on an OLED display by using Raspberry Pi Pico so in this video I am using this function to get the distance uh, or time response of the ultrasonic sensor. So the trigger pin is set to the GPIO3 and it is as set as output pin and the echo pin will get the response from the response time of the ultrasonic sensor and it is set as input pin and as GPIO2. So in the ultrasonic function, I have used time passed and triggered to low. Then I provided two microsecond delay. Then I put the trigger as high. Then I provide the uh, time of five microsecond. Then I set the trigger as low. Then you can uh, see that uh, I am uh, catching the response of the time delay between the trigger and echo then I am returning this time uh, of by using this time passed variable then this uh, the displaying module has been already given in the previous videos so in this video I am just using this ultrasonic function to get the time delay and I am calculating the time delay by using this measurement measure time variable so it, it, it will return the distance in centimeter then we will uh, round up this distance 10 by two decimal value then I am uh, displaying this distance by using the text function of the OLED so this is the program that I am using let's see the working so you need to save this program by pressing the control shift s but before saving you may sure that uh, you have connected your Pico with the laptop so let me save it for you so I am pressing the control shift s then select the raspberry pi pico then name this file as main.py and save it ok ok so as I have already saved this and opened this file it is not saving for me but in, in case of you you can save this by using control shift s Make sure that name of this file should be main.py file because it will run the program whenever you turn on the Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, so let's see the hardware part. So as you can see, I, I am whenever I am moving this object, it is showing the distance of this object. So this is the simple distance measurement by using ultrasonic sensor and Raspberry Pi Pico. Thank you so much for watching this video. The entire description, uh, the entire details doc documentation uh, has been provided in the description. You can check the documentation and article on this project. Thank you so much.